Good, man. A little nervous. So uh, to be here after those heart surgeries, everything you went through, does it feel as good as you thought it would, especially considering kind of what was in doubt earlier this year? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, it feels amazing. Uh, I just feel extremely blessed. Um, but honestly, all my focus is, is just making this team better. And then, you know, the real work starts now. You know, this is only in the beginning. Obviously, this is an amazing feeling and a great accomplishment for me. And uh, I'm extremely happy. But, you know, now the real work starts. And now I just have to keep doing what I've been doing and keep getting better every single week. Was there a moment in the preseason, either in practice or a game, where you felt like, you know what, I belong here. I'm, I'm, I'm good enough to be an NFL player? Um. I don't, I don't know if there was a moment. Uh, I would like to say I never, like, lost confidence in myself. Um, I always believed in myself and felt like that I got drafted for a reason and I was given this opportunity for a reason. Um, but I wouldn't say there was no singular moment where I was like, okay, I belong here. I just felt like just me being out there with the guys, you know, I just made sure I never took a, a snap or a second out here for granted and uh, hoped that it would all pay out. Focusing the offseason, when you came to training camp, how did you make sure you didn't push or try to do too much? Uh, the coaches here did a great job with all, every, every, everything with that. Uh, they made sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, my guy. Uh, made a team, too. That's what you should be. Who <laughs> should be up here right now. Uh, but uh, Coach Landau got me right, made sure I was running, made sure I was in shape. Um, they they really did a great job with just pacing myself because honestly when I first got here I was like I'm I'm ready to go I want to go full 100 110 percent you know I missed so much time you know I need to make it up and they all just told me just you know keep going uh, work hard but just pace yourself because I mean you did just come out of surgery and stuff so uh, that's what I did and now I feel great I feel better than ever you uh, I think your best year at Ohio State had three and a half sacks you've already had a few here in the preseason. What's translated for you better at the NFL level than it did there? Maybe where is your game improved? Um, I wouldn't say. Um, I feel like at Ohio State, it was just just different. You know, uh, obviously I'm playing a whole new position here. Um, I feel good at the position, but that's not to say I didn't feel good when I was at Ohio State. You know, I feel like they util utilized me well at Ohio State, just like I feel like they're doing the same here, um, just putting me in the right uh, circumstances for me to make plays and to play at my best. I just feel like I have a different level of confidence in myself um, now uh, when I'm here rather than I was at Ohio State um, in order to just play hard and play fast and uh, just believe in myself and my technique and my coaches. You mentioned Andre. What do you think he did to impress coaches as an undrafted guy to make the team? It goes hard, man. goes hard. He's strong, physical, and he's on his playbook. You know, he's the one calling out all the plays, uh, studying, make sure he's in the playbook, not missing a call. Um, and he plays hard, and he's a good player, talented player. Obviously, the Broncos have a history uh, with undrafted guys, and I feel like they had a, they found another gem in Andre. And I'm happy to to come in with him, and I'm happy that he's still here. Honestly. Uh, I, I feel like it was instilled in me. At a young age, I just always go hard at anything I do. I think my mom taught me that when I was young. Just whatever I do, you know, put your best foot forward. It doesn't matter whether you're out here playing football or, I mean, you're working uh, nine to five somewhere. It doesn't, whatever you do, just put your best foot forward, give it all you got. And uh, that's what I do. Um, I feel like that's where my effort comes from. And that's why I, I go so hard at everything that I do. Um, like I said, I, I didn't. I never lost confidence in myself. Uh, I just, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know. I, I wasn't even thinking that far ahead. I just was taking it day by day. Honestly, I, obviously, I had like goals in my head of where I wanted to make and where I wanted to be. Um, and obviously, right now, this was this was one of them. Um, but you know, you can't. You can't jump ahead into the future. You have to take it day by day. And I just follow the steps and what I believe will get me to here to this point. And uh, now, now I'm here, you know, and I'm grateful. What's maybe the biggest piece of advice you've gotten from Vaughn and, and Bradley? The biggest piece of advice? Um, there's, there's been a lot, a lot of things they've talked to me, uh, to me, honestly. I can't point out anything singular, honestly. I mean, they just... Those are the guys that, like, I always can count on and rely on. Like, whenever I have a question either about, like, me, about, like, life, about, like, anything, between 
uh, Chubb, Vaughn, and Malik, I know I have a like great mentors to rely on and to talk to, and obviously great players. You know, in order to step up my game and become a better player, I was just watching film with Bradley Chubb the other day, just figuring out how my steps could be bigger, or better, how my my passers could be different, how can I read a play better, and I, I picked their brains a lot just to see what they can tell me. Any little tips I, I can get to make my game better, I'm going to use them. There was a big cheer out there when Vic was breaking the team down. Was he recognizing anybody out there? Yeah, he's recognizing Deshaun. Uh, Deshaun made the team, man, and it's been a long journey for him. And we're all really proud of him. He's a great player. He's an even better teammate. Um, and we're all extremely excited and happy for him. Obviously, you guys have seen what he's been doing in the preseason, and he's an amazing player. And we're, uh, I feel like just everybody on the team is just happy that he's here. It seems like every time we talk to Von Miller, he praises you and uh, Darren. Uh, what does it mean as a rookie to get that kind of recognition? Yeah. Uh, it's crazy, honestly. I mean, I grew up watching Von Miller, you know, and obviously he's one of the greatest to ever, ever put on some cleats. And uh, for him to, you know, talk good about me, uh, for him to say good things about me and for me to even be his teammate and to learn from him, uh, it's a blessing, you know, and I don't take it for granted. You know, I want to make sure that every single resource and everything that he's learned in the game, I want to make sure that I can take that and apply it to myself so I can become even better.